Uh, I'm Tom Shields. Um, I swim in California. I swim for the University of California, Berkeley. Yeah, this has been a passion of mine for a long time. I've, uh, in 2011, I was at the University Games with a couple friends <clears throat> and uh, wasn't very well attended, wasn't very exciting. Um, and we kind of laid out what we thought a league should look like or what a proper, um, how to sell swimming the right way. We laid out, yeah, 12 person teams, um, dual meet format, uh, dual meet only, there's no championship meet format. And um, then eight years later, I heard that this was happening and I was like, I'm gonna get as involved as possible. It's cool to have Constantine around. It's cool to have this much fervor, this much excitement, this much passion. Um, and I just couldn't be more excited. It would be great to get eyes on us, um, you know, the eyes that we have every four years. Um, if we even kept half of that, the, the other years, that would be incredible. And um, that would be the goal is to, to eventually get a native swimming community, not just the Olympic viewership. No, it'd be great to be a team sport. I think that is the move. Um, I think that's how you sell swimming because you need to have the swims mean something. You can't just like, you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, you just scored a basket, so you got a basket. You know what I mean? It's, oh, you have a medal, like, good for you. That's all, like, and no one really looks at medal tables. And like, no one really cares. And only three countries really ever win. Um, so it's just, it's not exciting. And so I think if, as long as, you know, there's good, um, competitiveness in the league and as long as you know the swims go towards something we, we see that there is a native NCAA uh, community that that loves to watch the swim and dive meet um, that championship meet in March and so it would be great to grow that out in a professional manner and in a proper format and so that's been a huge shift for me and kind of a frustration where I in college that was the, the deal was get you know get 20 points per swim if you win and you know add up everyone's points and try and win the championship meet and it's like okay well you know, dual meets are the coolest thing. And we went to dual in the pool in 2013. It was one of my first meets as a professional. And I was like, well, you know, we had sold out um, one of the biggest uh, pools in Scotland over there in Glasgow. Yeah, and it's an amazing facility. And um, you guys had Europeans there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And we tied in. It was the mixed medley. And it was just like, I think it was just proof that that new spirit of swimming works. And it, to develop that model even further is just amazing. Representing my country is the coolest thing I've ever done. Um, representing my country at the Olympics is the coolest part of that coolest thing I've ever done. But I get to represent my country, or I have gotten to represent my country pretty often. Um, but that opportunity goes away if two people beat you. And I'm from the United States, so two people beat you pretty often. Um, and that happens to everyone at some point in their careers. Um, and it would be great uh, because it seems like the market's there and people are interested beyond just the top two Americans in the United States. So if we can support those athletes, me slowly becoming one of them, I still believe in myself and I would love to represent my country again. Um, I just think that there's room for it. There's room for everyone in this sport and there's room to grow out this league. And then if you get the rosters to the size that they want, then yeah, careers will go into the late thirties for sure. And eventually you will leave international competition and, and just do this or you can stay and do both and we'll see where, you know we'll see where the careers go from there it would be incredible to have a winter season because like everyone says oh there's not enough there's not enough space in the calendar oh there's too many there's too much that and it's like okay well the best swimmers on the planet swim fast in NCAAs and swim fast at the Olympic Games it's been proven time and time again I know foreigners are less likely to go to college now because there's more money in the sport which is a great thing but that season-based competition, I mean, even way back in the day with Frederick Bousquet, Cesar Cielo, and now with, uh, you know, my generation, we did okay. And then uh, with Caleb and Ryan and Nathan Adrian, obviously, like, we've proven time and time again that the best swimmers can swim fast multiple times a year. And you see that with the World Cups. Like, the people who win the World Cups are some of the best swimmers on the planet. So uh, there's definitely room for us to do it. It would make us better athletes, in my opinion. So it's just a win-win-win, and so we're trying to make it happen. Thank you.